Next, we introduce an integration technique called the inverse substitution. Let's start with a simplest non-trivial rational function. We factor out the constant a right away and set up the linear substitution by setting t equal to bx plus c and finding the differential of t and expressing dx in terms of dt. As a result, we have a simple indefinite integral in terms of t. We continue the integration process by finding the antiderivative and replacing t with the original function. Let's do an example. We factor out 2 right away and set up the linear substitution by setting t equal to 3x plus 4 and finding the differential of t and expressing dx in terms of dt. As a result, we have a simple indefinite integral in terms of t. We continue with the integration process by finding the antiderivative and replacing t with 3x plus 4. Let's consider a rational function with a linear term in the denominator raised to some power n. We factor out the constant a right away and set up the linear substitution by setting t equal to bx plus c and finding the differential of t and expressing dx in terms of dt. As a result, we have a simple indefinite integral in terms of t. We continue with the integration process by finding the antiderivative and replacing t with the original expression. Let's do an example. We factor out 4 right away and set up the linear substitution by setting t equal to 3x minus 2 and finding the differential of t and expressing dx in terms of dt. As a result, we have a simple indefinite integral in terms of t. We continue with the integration process by finding the antiderivative and replacing t with the original expression 3x minus 2. As a result, we now can integrate the following type of rational functions. First, we add and subtract a times b in the numerator and regroup the terms. Then, we use the linearity property of the integrals and split the original integral into two. After reducing the rational function in the first integral, we now have a pair of simple integrals of similar type. Let's do an example. First, we add and subtract 6 in the numerator and regroup the terms. Then, we use the linearity property of the integrals and split the original integral into two. After reducing the rational function in the first integral, we now have a pair of simple integrals of similar type. We set up the same linear substitution for both of them, and as a result, we have now two simple integrals in terms of t. We finish the process by finding the antiderivatives and plugging the original expression x minus 2 back for t. Let's do another example. First, we add and subtract 5 in the numerator and regroup the terms. Then, we use the linearity property of the integrals and split the original integral into 2. After reducing the rational function in the first integral, we now have a pair of simple integrals of similar type. We set up the same linear substitution for both of them, and as a result, we now have two simple integrals in terms of t. We finish the process by finding the antiderivatives and plugging the original expression x minus 1 back for t. In summary, we have the following results for integrating rational functions with linear terms in the denominator. We discussed and practiced integrating rational functions with a linear term in the denominator. 